A lot of people are very familiar with Neuralink. They've heard about it, even though, as I mentioned, this idea of recording from brains has been happening for a very long time. Now, what Neuralink is doing is implanting very tiny electrodes robotically, and it's fully implantable. And so that's part of why it's famous. But also part of why it's famous is because it's Elon. And there's this mystique about it, this sort of idea that everyone will someday get a Neuralink. Now, I have my doubts because it's an open head surgery still, even though it's with a robot. But let's look towards the future in terms of what use would it be to have a brain computer interface for somebody without a problem speaking or moving? Yeah, I don't think that application, the killer app, so to speak, has been discovered yet. You know, there's times where I'm lying in bed and I kind of wish I could send a text message without having to reach for my phone, but I'm not going to get a brain surgery to do that. I'm going to just reach for my phone. So what I think we're going to see is a widening of the medical applications. So I think there's going to be many, many more medical needs that can be addressed with brain technology, whether stroke, things like sustaining memory in the longer term, right? dealing with age-related decline or, or even Alzheimer's. So there's going to be different types of BCIs for different problems. But in terms of fully implanted kind of invasive BCIs for really healthy people, no one has yet shown a benefit that, that I think is worthwhile.